Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. So today we are going to learn how to code the questionnaire of Likert scale using SPSS. So uh, imagine that uh, I have collected data uh, using uh, SurveyMonkey or Google Forms or Qualtrics. After that, I import the data to SPSS. So you can view other videos on how to do that or just copy and paste the data to SPSS so that it can be like in this uh, format. Uh, the second step is to code it uh, using spaces, for instance, without coding it using Excel. You can watch other videos on how to code data imported from Google Forms using Excel. So, uh, in spaces is somehow the same. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to code this categorical variable. So here you can see the, the in these rows we have variables and these columns we have the cases for each variable so these are the number of respondents and this is for the data view and the variable view we are going to look at it with the labels and the, the type of data etc so what we are going to do is that we are going to select this row uh, all together and then i'm going to change the coding so instead of male and female i'm going to put one for male and two for female so I'm going to use this uh, icon, okay? So I'll click on it, and instead of find, we go to replace. And then we put, for example, mail, find what, mail. And we want it to be replaced by one, and click replace all. And here it is. Then we do it for female, and we want it to be coded as two and then click replace all and here you go so variable two that is of gender is coded next uh, the next step is that we go to this place so we should change this into numeric because here we have numeric data uh, here we can put the label uh, gender and then for the values i'm going to code them uh, the same so we put one uh, as label for it is um, mail so and click add and two is female all right and click add and okay so this is how we go about coding data all right for the record scale for instance so here it's already coded four five etc etc from strongly disagree to strongly agree uh, the next step that I'm going to follow is that I'm going to go to this uh, variables or items within the Likert scale and we code them from one strongly disagree to five strongly uh, agree etc. So I think that the idea is clear now. So I'm going to add it. Okay, and you can finish them all. And here for the measure, instead of uh, and now here we put it as scale or ordinal. So for Likert scale, we can put it as ordinal, or even we can consider it as scale, it doesn't matter. So this is how we go about coding data using SPSS. So the labels here are the, the, the I mean, the titles that are displayed in the output, and the name here is the name of the variable. So here it should not contain any space or anything like this. So this is, I think, in brief. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial.